Okay, this is a little ball of, it's a selenite rose. It's very soft, you can cut it with your fingernail. It's very soft. It's a selenite rose, it's an evaporite. This is a shiny, kind of heavy metal. When you scratch it on, when you do a streak test, you scratch it on sandpaper, you see a black line. That tells you it's fool's gold. If you had real gold and you scratch it, it would be a gold line. So this is fool's gold, iron pyrite. These are tumble polished samples of uh, hematite, H-E-M-A-T-I-T-E. -E. You do a streak on this. The streak is kind of a, kind of a, a reddish, a purplish color. This is iron, hematite. These are all different kinds of quartz. Quartz is uh, silicon dioxide, the most, two most common elements on Earth. They form all kinds of minerals. Here's, uh, here's types. This is a clear quartz. If it's kind of rose color, you call it rose quartz. If it kind of looks like this, it's called obsidian. You call it a snowflake obsidian. Uh, it sounds like, if you click two of these together, it sounds like a marble. And that's what marbles are made out of glass. This is natural glass. This is called praise. It's another form of silica. It's different colors. I don't know why there's these different colors. Here's a piece of tiger eye. Different cal 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 calcidony. Different kinds of, of, of uh, combinations of quartz. This is what they call, this is a book of mica. It peels off in sheets. You might call this biotite. It peels off in sheets. Mm. These little sheets of mica. This is a, a very high temperature mineral. It's also used in fuses because this won't melt. You can put a blowtorch on this and it will not melt. It's mica. Uh, it's also these little windows are used in uh, uh, pot bellied stoves from a long time ago. You can see through them. Mica. It's called a book of mica. Over here, these various blue minerals like this, they're blue. And when you streak it, you see that beautiful Stella blue color, we call it, the light blue. This is azurite. This is what artists hundreds of years ago used to make the beautiful blue that's in the, the old master's paintings because they, they took this rock azurite, made it into the powder, mixed it with oil, and they had paint. So that beautiful paint is from azurite. Also, uh, you've seen Queen Cleopatra has that blue makeup on. Uh, her, Cleop her makeup came from azurite into powder, and that was, you know, 2,000 years ago. So that's azurite, which is a copper ore. This is clear quartz. It's tumble polished clear quartz. You don't find it like this, but if you put it in a tumbler, it will, it will quartz. And quartz is made up of silicon and oxygen, the two most common elements on Earth. And if you streak it, you get a white line if you have good sandpaper. It's a white streak. That's clear quartz. This, these are, are ROMs of calcite. You see the shape? It's not a random shape. This, this, this is a mineral called calcite, optical calcite. If you lay it on words, it doubles. It's called optical calcite. You can see through it and you'll see a double image. Uh, this is calcite. It, it's called crystal cleavage. It makes these ROMs. If you would break these, it breaks into, into this shape. This is calcite. It has a white streak. That's a crystal of calcite. Here's also a piece of calcite. It is uh, this kind of orange color, but when you streak it, ah, cuts the sandpaper, but again, you get a white streak. So this is calcite that's orange color. This is mother calcite here. See, it has the same ROM structure. This is calcite. You see the structure, it happens to be green. When you streak it, even though the mineral's green, it has a white streak. This is also calcite. Here's more pieces of rock over here. If you take them out, you'll see different. Here's that ROM shape again. It's a ROM. So that's a clue that it might be calcite. Let's streak it. It's still a white streak. But even though the crystal is blue, it's still calcite. And calcite, you see this powder is white. You see teeth are white. You see bones are white. And you see milk is white. They're all white because they have the mineral K2. 
calcium in it, which comes from, from the, the element calcium that comes from the mineral calcite. So that's why kids should be drinking milk to the end of their bodies, and these teeth that come, come out of your head, and you'll have white uh, bones. So you need to drink milk because that's where calcite comes from, or cheese, or yogurt, or broccoli. But you need calcium. It comes from calcite. These are very beautiful mineral here, very colorful. We call it peacock ore. It's very colorful. It's blue. It's purple. And when you streak it, if you streak it, it gives a green streak. The mineral is purple and blue, but the streak, here's something else you can do. You can take a sample like this, I'm on this edge right here, and you streak it repeatedly. It looks like iron pyrite right there. It comes like a gold color where you, where you uh, s s did a streak test on it. Okay? This is a copper ore, common copper ore for mining copper. More, some more minerals here. They're soft, kind of silky a little bit. Uh, I don't see any crystal structure on them. You scratch it, you get your white streak again. This is also calcite, just a different color, different element in it. This is metal. It sh has a luster. It has a cubic structure to it. You'll see it kind of stand up. It's more like a cube rather than the ROMs we saw before. And this is heavy and this is metal. This is called galena. Galena is true lead. It's not the lead from pencils. The lead from pencils is graphite. This is lead which is used in fishing weights and batteries are very heavy. This is heavy. It's from the mineral galena. Here's some other green minerals here. This, this green. This is the mineral fluorite. You can, you can streak it. It shows a white streak. White streak similar uh, to calcite, but this scratches calcite. It scratches calcite. This is fluorite, which is the next one up on the Mohs hardness scale. It's fluorite. So don't be confused with green fluorite and green calcite. They look similar, but this scratches it. And you can't wipe that dust away, so this is harder. They're different minerals. You try to scratch this one on this mineral, it rubs off. This is harder. So this is, this is a, a fluorite. Down here, you have beautiful crystals. If you look at them real close, you can see they have multiple sides to them. These are a high temperature mineral called garnet. They have 12 sides. If you get a good crystal, oh, here's a good one right here. It has 12, it's a 12 sided crystal. Do means two, deck means 10. It's a dodecahedron, it's a 12 sided. So that's why you're, you study in math, you study these different uh, three dimensional objects, cubes, dodecahedrons, because you actually find them in nature. This is a garnet, which is a high temperature mineral. 